Yeah, University in Wuhan, China, and he's also a professor at the St. Petersburg State University for telecommunications. And his specialty is telecommunication, information, and media. And today we will not talk about this thing. He told me it's the next generation of this thing, this thing. And yeah, I would ask you for full attention and welcome you. Johan. So which the time we put the lunch that we are not all at the same time there. Yeah, I have a dilemma because this is a product I'm using, this is a product you can buy, and I support my friend Peter Kotasek that this became popular. In parallel, I have a research professorship in China where we developed what I call an umbrella on which you can write. It's uh, the difference, and I will talk about the next generation. So the people they want to sell this, they are not happy to you talk about what will be next. Uh, uh, my, uh, I work at the university in the center of China, and there is the automotive cluster. So the, most of the car companies are there. Every two seconds a car is running on the street. And they are also interested in a product like this. And it should offer bridge and support uh, our movement. So people were always mobile, and what we found out by research is that they are ready to uh, invest one hour, not more. So if whatever vehicle they are using. And uh, the new type of something which will be not a car and which will be something in average one little bit more than one person is using a vehicle today. So that means we concentrate on, on a complete new type of vehicle and uh, something we call electronic walking. Because uh, when you use the public transportation then you always have to overbridge some ways in between. When you arrive in Vienna here at the main station and you want to go to the metro, it's maybe seven, eight hundred meters. For all the people, not so easy. And for this, when you have something like an umbrella, you switch on, you can stand on, and with electric engine, you can reach the metro. I use this to come here. I live in a village south of Vienna. The next railway station is five kilometers from my house. So I go with this to the railway station. And then I arrive here at railway station Braterstern and come here again with this video. So this is something where you can overbridge uh, some uh, ways. Why this is possible? Because we have a new generation, we call it the headrest generation. So they are grown up when they sit in the children's seat in the back of father and mother and they cannot see something, they just see the headrest. And their attention, their motivation is very much different to all generations before. So status and things like this is not so important. Important is how I can go the best way from A to B. And when we look uh, today about public traffic, then we see that individual traffic very low speed already. So, new values are that uh, uh, economy is more important than uh, standards. And individual, individual mobility is quite important. Cities are changing, so this would be an, a separate uh, speech when we talk about the development of cities, uh, how they develop the size of cities, and, and I made this just when you get handouts that you can read it, it's quite spectacular. When we see the size of cities today, and when we go back 100 years, the size of cities in the 19th century. So it was a tremendous uh, development here, and this also developed a certain, uh, a certain infrastructure. And for this infrastructure, we need something like electronic also home is different. Home is not just the house we are born and grown up and maybe we die. Home is something very different. So we are in a global world and, and uh, we live sometime here, sometime there and we must be mobile. And, and, and for this, this is 
quite useful and, and, and quite helpful uh, to use it. Electric mobility is something we think that this will be the future. As I can see with my friends in China, that the battery was not the main problem in this video. Because I said, my target is that this umbrella, which should go 20, a speed of 20 kilometers, which should be able to go 50 kilometers and should have a weight of less than 2 kilo. The battery was not my problem. So the battery is the solved. The battery is uh, just inside the car. And we have many things with for electric mobility. So we have an e-baby bucket. So that it's easier to use the bucket when your child is in. And what I say is we need a body electric. So to move our body. And this is a pioneer, I would say. But the future will be maybe a little bit different. Electric mobility is quite old. So when you make some research, then you will find out already in the 19th century there were electric cars. So one of them looked like this. But we always use the generation before for the new generation. What will be not the future is what I would say is at the moment electric vehicles are loaded by yourself. So you have an electric car and then you load in the, in the public network. The future will be that we have refilling alternative energy. Because the generation before you bought the meal with your own bottle. So you went to the grocery with your own bottle and they filled in the meal. And today we buy it already refilled. And the same will come with energy. Because you cannot wait. When the, I cannot go with this and, and wait half an hour till it's refilled and then I go again. So I have a energy bottle and I just change the bottle. So this will be one point which is uh, changed. And the important is that it's a network mobility. So we don't see in other vehicles, in other transportation facilities a competition. We say that this must function all together. So for example, I don't use any more uh, equipment which is just dedicated to the vehicle. I use this as a standard uh, iPhone or, or something like that. So that you can combine it and see where the next train is and so on. You can buy a ticket and, and, and other things. So the future of the vehicle in the city is for me more or less dead. When you see the politics in our cities, they keep the traffic with cars. So to go here, by car when you have to pay, when you park on the street side, you have to pay for its expense. And the problem is what we call the liquidity. That means to overbridge the distance between different uh, transportation systems. As I said, you arrive on the railway station and you want to go to the next, uh, uh, to the next uh, metro station. For this you need a vehicle like that. Or when you arrive at the airport, the distance of the airport is tremendous. You go from one terminal or from the arrival somewhere. And, and this, this is very nice to do. But it must be uh, very much lighter than what is possible today. Then we get older. That means also for older people we need a thing like this. And uh, for this we have a system which has three wheels, so that you really can stand on and then it's, this is more, more for the sporting people. And the structure of society just when we use Austria in front of my Chinese colleagues I always use Austria something like test market. I say something like Disney World. Because the city I work has 14 billion. Austria 8 million, so, and we are called the country. So I say, but we can use it for, uh, for 
measurement and, and things like that. And here we see that people get older. So the flow broker is, I call it, <coughs> designed to overbridge uh, the way between different transportation tools, between different uh, transportation systems. And the target is the weight should be less than 2 kilo and we work on this it should have a speed of around 20 km an hour it should be able to uh, uh, pass a distance of 50 km and it should also be able to have some uh, add-on loading when you go shopping, when you are on the airport that you can put also your suitcase on and with the version with the three wheels is very easy. You can, we have tested, you can take three boxes of beer with you with wheels and, then, and the same can carry it. So this is the version as it's here. And the main criteria is the low weight. So we have found the, the right material, but uh, the, the, uh, it's licensed. The license is quite expensive because it's in hand of uh, one of the two big uh, airline uh, airplane producers. But with this material, we would easily come down to two kilo. Airbus produced already a prototype of a bicycle which has less than one kilo. So here you see, and, and the material is like steel, so that's no problem. So that's one bring down the volume. The battery is so good. Is the, is the battery we, we don't see any problem anymore. And the target of my uh, Chinese partners is that it should cost not more than 50 euro. Because a bicycle, and a very nice bicycle in China costs 50 euro. And they expect that the electric umbrella also should have a, a price range like this. And it should be two versions for older people and for young people. And we can manage also the, the maximum speed. Uh, legally, I also can inform you, it's, uh, we have a proof lease in already the prototypes in Austria. And it has two approvals. One is that it's like a bicycle. So that means uh, I can go on the street. And second, it's a proof as an electric uh, orator, you know what the old people use normally for walking and this has an electric engine and this means we are allowed to go on, on a pedestrian area. So that means I can go on the street or I can uh, go beside. So both is as a, a license for And it also can go off road And I have seen this morning that it's possible off road because I came from Praterstern to here and there is a passage of a, 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 along the, the old rail track which is really awful. So this walking is not so easy. Yeah. And it should be simple for people like, like that. Because the old people, this generation is growing and will be more and more. And third point is, it should be easy to take in the car. Because I talk about mobility. That means car to go. So you go with this, then you take the car, put in your umbrella, use the, the, the least car, leave the car, take your umbrella out and go the rest by yourself. So the flow poker at the moment as it is here is something like a pioneer, but I'm sure in the next generation it will be like an umbrella, I would say. And maybe one word how I came to this, because this is also of interest, how the Chinese ate. I was a uh, rector of a university in Oman, and then I received a call from a headhunter. And the headhunter said, we found out that in three months your contract is over. Something very precise. We invite you for an interview to Paris. They have sent a ticket, I came to Paris. And then I was on one test with three French colleagues. I have known them from literature, but first time in 
reality. And then the headhunter said, we need you for, for this Chinese university. So that means they go shopping, first of all, to get the know-how. And we had the order to develop something like this. And second, they also manipulate their ranking as a university in the international ranking. So that they check where we have the weak points, and in the weak points, they ask the headhunter, we need such an amount of professors with this and that characteristic, and they go shopping for this. And they bring up the, the ranking. And on top to work there, there is very hard, uh, students have very hard pleasure. So as a teacher, it's very nice then, because they are not allowed to have a negative mark. So in Oscar, what we have a five, then you get five, you have to leave the university, which also has negative impact. So in the first year, many students make suicide. And the way now is that in the student hostel, uh, young professors have to live with the students to reduce the suicide of uh, young students. But can you imagine that you study four years and then very close to finish your studies, you get the negative mark and you must leave the university. So they always came to exam very well prepared. Not like it's here. I think such uh, side things is also important to get you here and with the students to work this is very nice. I can say in a lesson in the afternoon, I give them a book and I say tomorrow morning we discuss and they don't sleep. They read all night the book and next morning they come again. So they are hungry for this and, and, and the other side is that the research is very easy because now we have, we have ordered a prototype for the new thing and the lecturer just asked me does it cost more than 100 euro or less? When it's less, you can do it. So we can order this without asking someone else in university. So bring this in relation to European university. Very complicated. And there we can decide by the And this makes life very easy. If it will be really produced, I don't know. But I can develop with students, with colleagues, something complete a complete crazy idea and maybe it will be a product in the future. So thank you very much.
sense. And here we can manage it like this when they are not allowed to use it by bicycle, but they are allowed to use the electric volator. So that means when they are seven, eight years, they can go on the pedestrian area. When they are 12 years old, they are allowed to go on the street. Thank you. 